do this ancient prayer technique to manifest whatever you want. And I mean anything. And some of you hearing that might be like, but Josh, wait, that's not how prayer works. Sometimes God answers your prayers and sometimes he doesn't for your own good. Really? Says who? Seriously, says who? Or the universe only gives you what you want when you're ready. You heard that one before? Or maybe you think that way. If so, where'd you learn that? Because there's plenty of people who get things like money, fame, certain relationships, you name it, who screw up their lives once they get those things, right? So what exactly does ready even mean then? Or what about those who pray for physical healing? Good moral people too, yet their God still doesn't heal them. Why is that? So let me get this straight. God answers your prayer for a parking space at the mall, but won't heal your sick child? Look, I mention these things because there's a lot of confusion out there when it comes to prayer. You know what I'm saying? And I think people just don't want to admit that. So today I want to clear things up for you and give you a different perspective based on the teachings of Neville Goddard. One that I believe will start giving you better results from now on. Because let's be honest, for a bunch of people, and I was guilty of this too back in the day, prayer is talking to God, Jesus, Allah, universe, whatever you want to call them, or it, and asking for something, like a petition, a request. And then leaving it up to their higher power, not knowing what to expect. Whatever happens, happens. But is that what true prayer is? You see, for me, I struggled with this freaking years ago when I got really sick and suffered from excruciating pain in my body. You guys, for real, hurt like hell. And trust me, I prayed like crazy. Shoot, I didn't just ask God for help. In a sense, I begged them night after night in tears saying, God, please heal me because I was in so much pain. You know what happened? Nothing. <laughs> Wait, something did actually happen. I got worse physically, believe it or not. No joke. I was wondering, what the heck, dude, why is this happening? But thankfully, without getting into detail, because I've shared this in other videos, I eventually did get healed. Completely. You know how? It's when I finally understood the mechanics of prayer, how it really works, which is this. Ready? Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe you have received it, and it'll be yours. Someone might be like, Josh, that's the prayer technique? Come on, man, we've all heard that already. That's from the Bible. Yeah, but do you do it? Do you pray that way? Because from what I can tell, especially growing up around religious folks, many of them don't. Sure, there's a lot of asking going on, but there's not a whole lot of believing that it's already yours going on, right? Typically, people just ask God for stuff, and whatever happens, even if they don't get what they want, is quote-unquote meant to be, which could be a good coping mechanism. But listen to this again. Whatever you ask for in prayer, believe what? That you received it. That you received it. And it'll be yours. It'll be yours. That sounds very different from ask God and whatever happens, happens. Don't you think? So true prayer, you got to get this, is recognizing, it's assuming that you already have what you want. Right now. Not soon. Not even tomorrow. But now. Present tense. How is that possible? In consciousness. Remember, consciousness is the only reality. The only reality. You are the operant power. Okay? You are. Not some God outside of you. God's not up in the sky looking down saying, okay, you deserve this. You don't deserve this. Or now's not the time. Nah, dude. You being the operant power, if you pray to God for riches, but you're conscious of being poor, what are you going to get? Riches? Of course not. You'll get that which you're conscious of being, namely poverty. Folks, we live in an assumptive world, meaning your assumptions, what you're conscious of, will determine your reality. So it really doesn't matter how many prayers you utter or how many tears you shed, begging to the universe. You want your prayers answered? Assume it. Assume the consciousness of the thing desired. You got to be it. You got to feel it, that it's already yours. Then it'll be answered accordingly. Okay, so the question is, how do you do that? How do you believe you already got it? It's simple. You imagine it. You can do this with anything. Money, health, love. Ask yourself, what would it be like if it were true that I'm now the person I want to be, that I now have whatever it is I want to have? What would I think? What would I say? How would I act? Create a scene implying its fulfillment. And then, Quietly go within and begin to think and say and do those things inwardly. Feel its reality. Don't worry about the how or when it's going to happen. Just commune with yourself, your own imagination, 
until you're satisfied that it's done, till you're relieved. Then just watch. Neville says that when you emerge from your prayer, no longer seeking. Why? For you already have. Go about your business and let it take its course. Reason may deny it. Your senses may deny it. But if persisted in, will harden into fact because you get what you believe. Yeah. Alrighty, guys, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button to help support this channel and the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week, so you don't want to miss them. If you're listening via podcast, I'd really appreciate a review. Gets more people to discover my work and, of course, help spread this message. And yo, don't forget to register for my free online training that'll seriously help you to start manifesting the life you really want right now. So check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.